All right, sixth graders. So here we go. We're on chapter five. What would you do that for, Chip demanded. I don't think this was right to do this, Jonah said, sneaking around, looking at papers your parents don't want you to see, calling people. I know you're really mad at your parents right now. Okay, fine. I don't blame you, but this isn't going to help. Calm down. Let them calm down. Wait until you can all sit down and talk about it. Chip shoved hard against Jonah's chest, pushing him away. The phone fell to the floor between them. I don't know what your parents are like, Chip said harshly, but if my dad says he doesn't want to talk about something, he doesn't talk. He grabbed the phone and began punching the numbers again. Okay, so maybe family therapist was out as a future career option for Jonah. Doesn't, doesn't quite have the knack, it sounds like. Maybe you should talk to one of the counselors at school or something, Jonah said. Chip kept punching numbers, stabbing them even harder now. I am not crazy, he insisted. I never said you were, Jonah countered. He guessed Chip had hit about five of the seven numbers for James Reardon now. But tell me, what do you think the FBI has to do with your adoption? Chip stopped hitting numbers. Jonah eased the phone out of Chip's hands. He pressed the button to hang up. Think about it, Jonah said. This Reardon guy probably doesn't have anything to do with you. That post-it must have been on some of the other paper in there. Maybe like your dad is a spy or something. He's a stockbroker, Chip muttered. He cleared his throat. If he was a spy, he'd probably be on the terrorist side. Maybe he's secretly working for the government, Jonah said. Maybe he's like a double agent and he's pretending to launder money for some terrorists but really he's reporting everything to the government. And maybe if you call this number and blow his cover, like five years of secret agent work will go to waste and they'll have to start all over again. And it will be all your fault. Jonah had seen a movie once where something like that had happened. You think my dad's a hero? Chip asked, fat chance. But he didn't grab the phone back to begin dialing again. He just stood there looking lost. I just want you to know who I really am. Excuse me. I just want to know who I really am, Chip said. His words came out as a whimper, the kind of sound no self-respecting 13-year-old boy would want anyone to hear him making. Jonah decided not to make fun of him for it. I do too, Jonah said. You do? Chip asked. And this too came out sounding pitiful. Jonah nodded. Well, yeah, I, I mean, my parents are okay, and I guess it'd be possible to have a worse sister than Catherine. But sometimes I wonder, who do I look like? Are my birth parents good people who just kind of made a mistake? Or are they druggies or alcoholics or criminals? Are they in jail, mental hospitals? Did they have any other kids besides me? Did they... Did they keep the other kids? Sometimes Jonah's mom would say things like, you have such great dimples and such beautiful eyes. Do you suppose those came from your birth mother or your birth father? Or she'd say, you're so good at math. Wonder who you inherited that from. It annoyed him because he knew those lines came straight out of adoption books. And generally, people whose lives were going great, like NFL quarterbacks, rock stars, famous actors and actresses, genius scientists, generally they didn't give up their kids for adoption. What bad things had he inherited along with the eyes and the dimples and the ability to glide through seventh grade math? Chip was nodding. Monday morning, he said in a hoarse voice, when I, when I walked into school, I kept looking around thinking, I could have a brother or a sister here and I wouldn't even know it. So I stared at everyone looking for curly hair and those long skinny legs and nostrils that flare out a little. Is that why you walked into the wall on the way to lunch? <laughs> yeah, Chip said. He sounded embarrassed. Jonah eased the post-it note out of Chip's hand. He waved it slightly in front of Chip's eyes. This isn't any good, Jonah said. No matter what, you are always going to have more questions. How do you know, Chip challenged. Have you ever tried to get your questions answered? Okay.
So we're going to stop there. Chapter five, your two questions are posted on the form. Go ahead and visit those and answer those questions, remembering to use the question in your answer. And we will see you soon.